that heareth the word, and Annas with joy receiveth it, yet hath he not root in himself, but doeth for a while, for when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, by and by he is because offended. Of, he said because of the word. Because of the word. Read again. He said because it didn't say this tribulation happened because of the current events and the he said because of the word. Read that. But doeth for a while, for when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word. Because of the word. Just like this whole thing going down in Russia right now about to blow up, uh, just blow the shit out of Israel. Mm -hmm. It's just all prophesied in the Bible that Russia was going to come down and uh, start, kick off this third world war, man. Mm -hmm. By and by, he is offended. And all this division you see, all this uh, racial division, so-called, there's only one race, and that's the nation of Israel. Race, that's a Hebrew word. The word race is a Hebrew word, Rahash. And that means that the head. There's only one head. The head is Yahweh Shai. And under him is the nation of Israel. That's the head. So really, there's only one race. There's only one head. And that's Israel. Okay, so y'all got to get that through your mind. I don't really like using the word race. You know what I'm saying? I really prefer to use the word prejudice over calling someone prejudice the racist. They only racist if they Israelite. We the only people allowed to be the head. We the only people allowed to be racist. He also that received seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word and care of this world. Yeah, like so your grandma and your aunt and your uncle and all these people in there, they all they all with the thorns, you know what I'm saying? They up in the bushes, they all fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going up to these churches. They have no knowledge. Because the scriptures say your enemy is going to be those of your own household. So your own enemy is going to be your mom, your sister, your brothers. They're going to have a problem. With, if you if you uh, teach the truth the way we teach it, everybody's going to come against you. They're going to be your enemy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? They can't use the Lord. What you think they yeah, they, they crucified. We was just reading that. We're going back to it. We're going back to it. If they come against the Lord, you think, shit, we ain't shit. That's an easy thing for them to come against us. Yeah, easy. Yep. Same motherfuckers that came to this little deal. It's coming against us now. They, they could have a big problem over that pork thing. Not eating pork for Christmas. But it's fuck these people, man. They don't want to stop celebrating Christmas after we tell you. That's like a smack in the face. That's disrespectful as fuck, man. We telling you that, and you're going to spit on it. And y'all ain't even keeping the Passover. You're going to get mad when we say fuck Christmas, but you're not keeping the Passover the most important out of all holy day. Read this is start 22 again. He also that receives seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word and the care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and he becometh unfruitful. Yeah, deceitfulness of riches. That's why like a lot of these preachers out here, they, they have no problem preaching this uh lovey dovey bullshit and teaching all these false doctrines. They getting paid off of it. But them riches they got is deceitful. They gonna get all them riches took. Okay. When they come back in the reincarnation, they gonna pull it. Okay? A lot of these people, when they come back in the reincarnation, they gonna come back with everlasting shame and contempt. We won't be in the kingdom. We're gonna be in the kingdom. But some of these people, they gonna be living in the kingdom with everlasting shame. Still in the kingdom, but they're gonna be shamed. Rich ass shame. They, 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 they wasted opportunity. But the Lord set it up that way anyway. You know, wicked motherfuckers. <laughs> but he that receiveth seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it. Oh, you gotta hear the word and understand it. A lot of you people teaching the Bible don't understand shit. You don't know nothing. You don't know basic shit. You don't even know who Israel is. You don't even know who that the Lord came for Israel. They can't. They don't even know that the, that the Christians are Israelites. They don't even know that. They like all oh, the Christians are all nations. It's everybody. It's everybody. It's in your heart. <laughs> what a dumbass shit is that? I believe I'm a Christian. I mean, I'm heathen. 
<laughs> That's funny though. That's some funny shit. Which also bear wait a minute, let me start the time. But he that received the seed. <laughs> into the good ground is he that hears the word and understandeth it, which also bear fruit and bringeth forth some and hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Yeah. You want me to keep reading them? Nah, that was it. That's pretty long. Yeah, go back to John. Okay. Yeah, because there's all kind of people teaching bullshit on YouTube. Oh. Now you get on YouTube, there's all manner of madness. Now, one, one thing almost all of these fucking clowns have in common. They all teach them about the Anunnaki, not the Anunnaki, the fallen angels and the and Lucifer's or fallen angel and all that bullshit. Talking about the UFOs or demons. When here it is, UFOs or angels. They got everything backwards. Oh shit! <laughs> and that's all they talk. They always want to talk about the Book of Enoch. Man, why don't you teach? Why don't you teach the gospel? Teach, they over there. Why don't you read Matthew? You all open a book of Enoch all the damn time. What's the call? Damnable heresy. Yeah, that's a damnable heresy. Yeah, ain't really hear that bullshit, but the actual truth that's gonna get them out of here. <laughs> Fables. They be knowing Fables. the book. They be knowing the book of Enoch too, boy. They, can stu they, they don't know not a single scripture in the Bible. They, they, that's how people do. They don't want to read anything but the Bible itself. It's like a great burden to them. You know what I mean? Fables of Gamble Oh, that's good. That goes right into that scripture. It's a burden for them. Yeah. The, the word of the Lord is a burden to them. So they'd rather embrace Barabbas than the Most High. The Son of the Most High. Wicked ass man. Murdering, drug dealing, killing, murderers, adult. You know he was killing motherfuckers to uh, rape their He's probably raping children too. No children, only fucking raping men. Suck, boys. Sucking dick, getting yep. fucked. Yep, yep. He was dirty. All the mother Israelites too that was watching the Lord crucified when they said, our, our, uh, we have no king, our king is Caesar. That All them was a bunch of faggots, man. That's right, we're gonna get to that too. 18th, 19th chapter. Okay, 37, this is John 37, thir thir not 18 to 37. Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? Jesus, Jesus answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. To this end was I born, and for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Every one that is of the truth heareth my voice. Pilate saith unto him. So yeah, people like, wait, nobody listening. I guess you're not of the truth. That's, what's, that's why you're not listening. So it's like we don't give a fuck if you listen or not. That's why we people ain't getting it. They ain't catching it. We try, we don't care if you listen. We don't care. We don't care. It doesn't concern us. Right, right. Because you we, can't we out here for our salvation. You you can't force a person to understand the truth. Only the Lord can make you believe. That's how it was when we first got out got out here. We used to try to force people. Yeah, force them. Get mad when yeah. motherfuckers don't understand. I used to yeah, I used to get try to force people to get the truth. You yeah, can't do now that. Now we won't root it into this. Because people just ain't gonna get it. They ain't gonna get it. <laughs> Motherfuckers just is not. The Lord, He already said He got a, a, a chosen elect. That's it. <laughs> That's why we are here. We be one of those Okay. Um, Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. Pilate said unto him, What is truth? And when he had said this, he went out again unto the Jews and said unto them, I find in him no fault at all. But ye have a custom that I shall release unto you one at the Passover. Will ye therefore that I release unto you the king of the Jews? Then cried they all again, saying, Not this man, but Barabbas. Yes. Now, <laughs> yeah, well, Barabbas, Barabbas. How, I don't know how you say his name. Barabbas. Now, Barabbas was a robber. He's a robber. That sounds like a robber. He was a robber. Then Pilate therefore took Yahweh Shai yeah, and that, scourged him. So yeah, he, he, he describes uh, two thirds of these people out here, man. That's him right there. Yeah. He, he, he's, he's the, he's the uh, he symbolizes two thirds. He's the, he's the head representative of two thirds. You know what I'm saying? He's everything they stand for. That's why the people they had, uh, they had the choice. He's like, we can let the Lord go, the son of God. We, we can let this guy go. He feeds people, heals people. You know what I'm saying? Found no fault in it. He was perfect. 
You mean we gonna let him go? We let that doesn't make no sense, man. That's the, these fucking people don't make no goddamn sense. A bunch of fucking heathens. Motherfuckers wanna actually associate with and hang around these motherfuckers all day long doing drunk and yeah, doing cool. whatever heathens do. They wanna sit and talk about their favorite rapper for three hours straight. I, I ain't trying to talk about that shit, man. It'll give me a headache being around these niggas that don't understand truth, man. I don't give a fuck about sports stats. I don't give a fuck about movie directors. I don't I mean, wanna hear about you fucking your boys, your boys, uh, boys. Yeah, I don't wanna hear that shit either. They always talking about they gonna You know your heathens? We got the East Indians. Yeah, fucking East Indians. I was just seeing in the newspaper today, down there in India, some uh, 21 little Hindu kids dropped dead from eating a school lunch. Yeah. Pesticide or some shit? Yeah. yeah. So that's some foul people, man. It's not safe over there. So you want to tell me why we call people heathens? That's that's why we call them heathens. You ain't not hardly ever seen no shit like that around here. That's my CIA. Oh, uh, they some heathens though. They don't give a fuck about their own people. A heathen don't even care about heathens. He heathens are they ain't got a heathen ain't got no fucking sympathy. No, but now I can't I can't say them. I can't even see them doing it. Oh, you never know though. I see them Jews over there. I see them I see them um, what you call them people special operations, yeah. special ops. That's the only thing I can see. As it was. You know? they got a, there's an agenda going with all these governments. Well, they want to reduce you know? the population of airbase, you know? Right, they want to cause chaos everywhere. Yeah, that's what yeah. So instead of just a man, this is a man going to everywhere. Everywhere, cobalt action. They feed your children pork in these schools. That sounds like somebody who here in America. I was just waking up one day and saying, oh, this is going to kill somebody. They should be there. You know? And still walking the streets. So it's usually these law enforcement people that are doing that shit getting away with it. They did one. They do it better in America, actually. They just go that's straight from the school with guns. Yeah. Yeah. Just kill all the kids. <laughs> they go from guns, shoot the school up, and then just arrange somebody else go to get locked up. Yeah, the government shot the hell out of the little kids the same way. Special ops. Special ops. Okay, uh, John 19, chapter 1. Therefore took the house and scourged him, and the soldiers planted a crown of thorns and put it on his head, and they put him a purple robe. Uh, and they put him on him, they put on him a purple robe. Yeah, so that purple, they put a purple robe on the Lord. Because that's what the Caesar wore. The Caesar wears purple. That's a fact. That's some Barabbas motherfuckers right there. This fact is everywhere you look. It's just crazy. You can't get away from it. You can't just go down to the corner store real quick without seeing a fact. You can bump into it. Everywhere you go is a heathen. Oh, like we was talking, every every last store you go to is owned by a fucking heathen. Like, and then, it, like I said, we was, I was going to Mike's, the Mike store on Hamilton. It's called Mike's. But the motherfucker working there, I assure you, his name is not Mike. This motherfucker is a, a heathen with his probably name is uh, Jabu Jabu or some, some bullshit. Jump and jump. Yep, yep. That's how he sounds. Rishi, Kishi, Dishi. But he got, he got the nerve to call his motherfucking store Mike's. <laughs> you see how they do that? They try to fit in. Now look at all them ARAB stores. They all got like, uh, they all got American sounding names. You know what I mean? Mike's or <laughs> Dave's or Dan's. That's and, true too. Yeah. Something to fit in. Yeah, motherfucker, we ain't you ain't fooled me, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, He said, Hail, King of the Jews. And they smote him with their hands. Pilate therefore went forth again and said unto them, Behold, I bring him forth to you that ye may know that I find no fault in him. Yes, Pilate said, this guy didn't even do nothing wrong. What the fuck are y'all doing? It's like, we ain't doing nothing wrong. Yeah. He's like, I ain't do nothing wrong. You sure you want me to kill this guy? You want me to kill this guy, he didn't do nothing wrong. They're like, yeah, kill, kill that motherfucker. Yeah, that's a heathen. Yeah. That's a heathen. Yeah, that's a heathen. That's the devil himself. He has no understanding of it. The, like, the, so the Israelites, 
they topped the devil. They they was more Ooh. wicked than the devil. Even the devil wasn't gonna kill him. Mm -hmm. Hey, they were, they outperformed the devil on that day. Man, that's crazy. But yeah, it's reality. It is reality. But now we know what we're dealing with now today. You know? Now we know what type of people we're dealing with. That's why we cuss these motherfuckers out. No shit. Hell yeah. You know? They'll curse you out. Right. These motherfuckers out here like wild hyenas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta be careful around these people. You can't trust them. Family that whole family considers that. That whole family. Hey, probably more. You got a damn walk, man. <laughs> he walks, you know. He... He's chilling. Hey, there's a lot of them gooks, though, yeah. A lot of them gooks really ain't gooks. Yeah. They us. Then came Jesus forth, wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. Turn back, East Main to Fountain Lane. And Pilate said unto them, Behold the man. Everybody. Probably a transvestite. Yeah, he's walking real funny. Them mm -hmm. eat my bitches. They they do some crazy shit to their pussy. Uh, they stick. They they try to pretty much kill themselves. They have said. Yeah, I was just about. Yeah, I seen, bowling pin. I seen that. What? Damn, a bowling. Yeah, a bowling pin in the asshole. God. Fuck. And they do that on a daily basis. God. And the faggots be doing worse shit than that. Yeah, they do worse shit. They in the pain, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, 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 they baseball just, bats up their ass. They're empty, shallow people. They, they, all, all, all they, can, they can do to get pleasure is just to blow their asshole out for some reason. That's like, that's some serious shit, man. That's some shit. This people are fucked in the head. And then you got, the Queen of England just said, they uh, it's legal to be a faggot and get yeah, married yeah, sure did. over there in England now. You can... Um, like that bitch has so, to so so yeah, there goes that whole. She's a nice, young. Uh, she's a nice old Christian lady. Old they try to say that what well, the queen's a uh, Christian. She believes in Jesus. You know what I'm saying? And that bitch don't believe in Jesus. If she if she believed in the Bible and the ways of the Bible, why in the hell is she gonna say it's legal to be a faggot? Show me in the Bible where it says it's okay to be a faggot. That's I can assure you that scripture is not in the Bible. It's okay with the wicked. That's funny, but that like the bitch one day she's on top of her. Well, in the next minute, that bitch gonna be in shock. Yeah, she lucky Charles ain't poisoning her ass yet. She hey, probably, she watch, she got she got forces on Charles watching. She don't trust him. That's what happens when you live in a royal family. All the relatives are fighting against each other. That's why they're never together. Yeah, they, they'll try, they'll kill each other. Yeah, yeah. They all fighting to see who can be the next king. So the queen, yeah, she always got bodyguards not to protect her from the from the savages out here. <laughs> from her own family. <laughs> but Charles is gonna kill that bitch. He, the first chance he get. Charles is the redhead, man. No, he's the one next in line. Yeah. The one in the army? He, he, no, I'm talking about the one. He's their dad. The old fucker. Yeah, the, oh, him? Yeah. Okay. They, okay. Yeah, so he's gonna kill that bitch. <laughs> he probably already been poisoned it. He's been trying to get her ass somehow. <laughs> That bitch look evil too. Oh my goodness, man. Look Israel get old and still have a little bit of beauty to it. Eat about this one. Yeah, cause, damaged. Yeah, could you imagine the Queen of England hanging out with Barbara Bush? Oh. That'd be some scary shit. They look just alike. Okay, well. When the chief priest, therefore, and officers saw him, they Does cried it? out, saying, uh, crucify him, crucify him. There was the Jesse Jacksons, the Al yeah. Sharpens, the Farrakhans, the, uh, the uh, Creflo Dollars. Yeah, yeah, Jesse Jackson, he's an abortionist, he's a the murderer. The General Gehanus. Yeah, oh, he's a big faggot. It was the, uh, it was the, uh, anybody, anybody get on TV or get on their radio show talking about fucking people in the ass and how they didn't talk about doing it in the butt it's all the time. Fuck. That's a faggot. That's a foul nigga. Foul nigga. Nope. Yeah, all, all these fake ass preachers, these fake ass community organizers. Nasty F Nate Seven, he's part of it. You can't trust nobody saying they're trying to help the community. If you somebody say we're gonna help help the community, get 
far away from that motherfucker. You know, oh, we trying to bring the community. That's the key back. word. That's to get the fuck away from. It. Yeah. Help the community. Help the community. Do for the community. That's how. Yeah. Love the community. That's that communism vibration. They, they worship it. Yeah. yeah. Remember they worship uh, Baal Barith, the god of the community. The Lord ain't. The Lord's going to destroy the community, man. So that tells you he ain't with these community organizers. And these community organizers are so good at what they doing, how come you got so many goddamn ghettos? The motherfuckers ain't doing shit. You ain't getting shit accomplished. What kind of hell? Yeah, it's just worse than ever. Right next door to the church. Yeah, it's worse than ever. Yeah, motherfuckers robbing churches. That's good for those churches to get robbed and burnt down, and graffiti. You know what I'm saying? Um, Pilate, Pilate said unto them, let me start six minutes. When the chief priests saw, therefore, and officers saw him, they cried out, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate said unto them, Take ye him and crucify him, for I find no fault in him. The Jews answered him, we have a law, and by our law we ought to die, because he made himself the son of the Most High. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he was the more afraid, and went again into the judgment hall and said unto him, Jesus. So Pilate was afraid, yeah, because because Pilate, he had to do what the, the, the Jews said, because if he didn't, they was going to go nuts. All right, just like they were about to do here. Yeah, just like they about to do here, right. They don't get that law change to start uh, they could have protecting these niggas. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to start flipping the script. Go sit down. Yeah, you can't bug me right now. Sit down. Bug me. Yeah, so that's what's going to happen, man. All right. Yeah, they went again into the judgment hall and said unto Jesus, Which art thou? But Jesus gave him no answer. Then said Pilate unto him, Speakest thou not unto me? Knowest thou not that I have power to crucify thee and have power to release thee? Yeah, so Pilate thought he actually had some kind of power. <laughs> right, right. That's funny. Jesus and That's the same thing with the president and all these senators. They actually, they ain't got no power, man. Okay? It's just an illusion. It's an, yeah, it's an illusion. We're all, we're all just walking, talking, pre-programmed robots, man. Over neighborhood heroes. Yeah, fucking heroes. <laughs> Top oh, flight. Aaron. Jesus answered, Thou could have Y'all keeping the community safe? That was like a couple of Zimmerman. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't even got a stun gun. They got a flashlight. These were really good. We like Zimmerman though. Child yeah, but the children wander out too far. The child molester will snatch them up. There's lots of them out. Sell them in the sex trade. Yeah, that's huge, too. That's a huge fucking bracket, too. Children, man, yeah, so little boys. Actually, little boys. They, they, they kill Visual little... like little boys. They kill little babies. You remember when these people got caught smuggling chocolate uh, covered? I mean, they got caught selling chocolate uh, gold foil covered babies. They were selling babies dipped in chocolate up. wrapped up in gold foil and they were shipping them in the, on the black market. Trading them. Selling them. We got caught selling that shit, man. People don't believe you when, when you tell them crazy shit like that. But the, the, the chocolate covered babies wrapped in gold foil ain't cheap either. They don't believe you until their kids get stuck. In that shit. They gonna get ate by some old sick motherfucker, man. Just like that movie Hostile. Just watch that movie Hostile. So, and then the, the director of that movie, Eli Roth, he said that movie Hostile, or Hostile, I think it's Hostile actually. Yeah, because Hostile means hotel. It's not Hostile, it's Hostile. But he made that movie, he said it was based on real life. People torturing little children, locking them up in cages, just eating like one finger of a day or nibble, you know, he cut their arm off, eat the rest of them later, torture them, keeping them alive. They freeze the bodies, they actually freeze yeah. 
They do some sick shit out here. It's the same way they do cattle. Cattle with this body wrap it up in whatever and put it in the freezer. A lot of these motherfuckers got their giant meat freezers. Just lift up, look in what they said they did, they don't believe that but they see what happened with your boy uh what's his name? Uh Jeffrey Dahmer motherfucker. He was actually eating people. And he was having oh he was a faggot too and he was eating uh, his faggot the, the dudes he was fucking he was fucking men eating. He was eating black people too. Preferred. Yeah, he was eating black. He like that heathen. Man, get away from the heathen. He's doing some foul shit. I mean, that's where all these all these wickedness that our people are doing comes from the heathen. Like you got all these bitches, uh, all these hoes uh, dressing up like hoes and going to go do some yoga. That yoga is some heathen shit. That's some Hindu shit. All this astrology shit, motherfucker. That's some heathen shit, man. All these different religious beliefs people got. That's all heathen shit. You got people trying to talk about they Africans. You know what I'm saying? Hotel. Oh, yeah. 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 Jesus answered, Thou couldst have no power at all against me. As if it were given thee from above. Uh, the Lord told Pontius Pilate, you ain't got no power. Uh, yeah. You got that Lord right in front of you. Therefore, he that delivers me unto thee hath the greater sin. And from right, well, he said, who did the, deli the delivered me unto you got the greater sin. So whoever snitched on me, who, that's what he said, whoever snitched on me and turned me into you, that's, that's the one who got the greater punishment. Wicked ass Israelite. That's wicked ass Israelite, man. And from this forth, Pilate saw the police. But the Jews cried out, saying, If thou let this man go, thou, not, thou art not Caesar's friend. Whosoever maketh himself a king speaketh against Caesar. That's what, it, that's what the Jews were saying. They was taken up for Caesar. Here it is that the Bible says you're not supposed to make an agreement with any nation. Caesar. You're supposed to follow this, and that's it. They ain't supposed to follow nothing else. You ain't supposed to follow no goddamn constitution. Mm. You ain't so none of this shit, man. If it goes against the Bible, it's wrong. It's evil. Yeah. The most high ain't write the Bible for nothing. You know what I'm saying? This is the laws and the commandments. Uh, we got some goddamn Mormons coming down the street. I don't want to talk to this baggage. So the Mormons are a bunch of fucking baggage, man. Look, they look like douchebags. Oh, I wish they stopped the battle. Hey, they engaged in all kind of douchebags. I tell you what, I got I got the Book of Mormon in my house, and the only use I got for the Book, book of Mormon is I read it while I'm shitting. So you ever, you ever feel like you kind of constipate? You can't get all that shit out. While you taking the shit, just grab a Book of Mormon and you just start shitting your, your, your whole bowels. You be read that? You read that scripture that talk about that Mormon bullshit? Your whole bowels are empty. That's some foul shit. Just look at those Mormons. I just want to look at a Mormon. He just looks like a straight up faggot. There's nothing else to say. A faggot. That's it. You know, I got to take no thought, no thinking. I see one look. Look at them two bags. Ah, she a Celtic warrior. Yeah, she, got Celtic. she told him not to step on Caesar. Dance to that Trinity woman worship, Caesar bow there worship. Fuck these people, man. That's why you boy missing a leg. I mean, I want more. He's gonna lose his arm after that. What's up, my nigga? What up, Zimmerman? When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he brought Jesus forth and sat down in the judgment seat in a place that is called the pavement, but in the Hebrew, Gabbatha. Joseph Smith was a homosexual. <laughs> 
I had to say something. Well, folks don't want to battle at all, boy. We ain't had a good fight in a minute. He did look. We done KO'd everybody that, to the point they avoid us. Well, they say Joseph Smith gonna come back in a spaceship or some shit. Yeah. Saying he gonna come back in a reincarnation with superpowers. Yeah. These motherfuckers are crazy. Look at that under the cheek. That's like, you, you ever seen that movie with Mickey Ward? That movie, uh, they's all high on meth. He's like, I like a woman. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with that one girl that, that died. That was a man. That's a good-ass movie, too. Yeah, man. What was that? That's a good-ass movie. It's called, uh, I got it. That's uh, a good-ass movie. It's fun. It's called Spoon. Mickey Ward's like good-ass roles. Yeah. Yeah, it's good-ass like roles. The big roles he do play. But then again, Mickey's a good-ass actor, too. He's a big fan. Yep. Look at this big faggot over here. Look at him walking on gay shit. Look at that faggot on Look like a fucking Indian version of Pee Wee Herman. Looks like he just got Duncan plowed in the ass. What, like, it sounds like you were saying, um... America's gonna be destroyed by God very soon. Just remember that. They won't look like they want to... He's looking stupid as shit, man. I don't like these motherfucking people. Well, I don't like their ass. You know, this guy's a bad ass. He looks like a freak. He's in a yellow. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I'm just turning your ass off. Your bitch last week said she sucked over 5,000 dicks. That's crazy, dude. I still got to put the other video up. We'll do that tonight. Okay, um. And it was the preparation of the Passover in about the sixth hour. And he said unto the Jews, Behold your king. But they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate saith unto them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, that the thing you say in seven answered. <laughs> We have no king but Caesar. Oh, uh, his king, isn't he a 50, that Nathaniel 7 guy? Mm -hmm. yeah. he's, he's a 501c2, yeah. right? Yeah, 501c3. So yeah, he has no king but Caesar. Yeah. I mean, that's cut and dry. I mean, if you if you make an agreement with the government, that means that you are the government. <laughs> that means you're an extension of the government. You know what I'm saying? That's all it means. That means you allies with them, you confederate with that's them. That's right, that's right, that's what it means. That means you're down with that uh, oppression shit, you're down with this with the beast system. You down with the beast, man. When you when you sign on that dotted line on that 501c3, it's pretty much like you signing your soul to the devil at the crossroads. You know what I'm saying? It's like your ass, you got you was at the crossroads and you had to make that big decision. And instead of choosing the Lord, you chose Barabbas and you chose Satan. You know what I'm saying? Like Nathaniel Satan. What's his name is Nathaniel Satan? It, yeah, he was one of them people that uh, was screaming for Barabbas. He's like, oh, he's a good man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And when Barabbas finally died, they probably had a tribute for him. You know what I'm saying? Do a party for him. Poured out some drink for him. Yeah. Fuck the facts, man. This is on Exodus 23 and 32. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. Yeah, so when you make it, when you sign, a five, when you become a 501c3 church, you made a covenant with the devil. And it really ain't no coming back from that. The most, if you, if you, if you, if you that low of a person and that big of a piece of a shit that you would actually sign an agreement with the government, you're just a demon, man. Watch Here out. you go. Stop bugging. Sit down. Get some water. Sit down. Yeah, sit down. So yeah, that, 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 that guy, he's kind of, I don't know if he's popular, I don't know how he's popular. That Nathaniel Simmons, Satan, guy on YouTube, he always wearing all that purple. Like that. They all dressed up in purple like, they, like they're uh, royalty and shit. They, they dress up in that purple, that's that pride. When you dress up in all purple and have all your people dress up in purple, they dress up in purple Sub-Zero costumes. Look like he about to uh, want to do a fatality on you or something. You know what I'm saying? About to do a friendship. About to put a secret code in. He's dressing up like Mortal, look like Ermac off of Mortal Kombat. Motherfucker making that money. Go too, man. He a proud motherfucker making that money. Proud. Oh, no, they look, yeah, they look like Rain. Rain's purple on Mortal Kombat. Yeah, they making all kind of money. You know what I'm saying? That's just a hustle. 
He's in that pitch he got in. Because people see, yeah, because you attract, when you got some garments and you dress up like superheroes, and you're wearing a Mortal Kombat outfit, I'm talking about Nate. Oh, yeah. shit. Well, some, some people are so simple-minded. I mean, that's the shit that attracts them. It's like, oh, they're wearing these costumes. I want a costume, too. Like, when I was in the Marines, most people told me the only... Check this out. When I was in the Marines, most people said the only reason they joined was so they could wear the dress blues. And that's what that way it was sold on that. Yeah, so they could look nice. Cause you know them dress blues, people like that. You know, but that's why. That's why. That's how that, that guy Gay Haina do this too. What's his name? Gay Haina. I don't even know his real name no more. Everybody knows General Gay Haina. Yeah. General Haina. They dress up. They look like demolition off of. Uh, you know, old tag team demolition for the WWF. They come out all dressed in black, got spikes and shit. They look like they getting ready for a tag team match. You know what I'm saying? They really look like a, I really. He should join the WWE, man. Vince McMahon would give you a job. I'm for real. He I, he, he like a perfect wrestler. He, I could picture him talking shit. You know what I'm saying? He got a tag team partner. He could even win the championship. Be the. Uh, Take win the tag team championship. He got a future in that. Cause I mean, Vince McMahon's down with that gay shit too. So you know, Gahana's down with that gay shit. They would make a good team. He's the second S was nine and ten. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Don't to take them bribes. Oh yeah, they, suitcases full of money. Well, you got all these people in the hood. They claim to be so-called Christians, but they all, they all supporting Obama. They, they think Obama is the motherfucking... You got people still supporting Obama. It is the second term. These people are retarded. But, uh... They're giving them a chance to change them. But they give them a little food stamps. They give them a little Obama phone. You know what I'm saying? That makes them happy. That keep your ass happy. Just a little food stamp card. You know what I'm saying? They don't care if he support abortion. They don't give a fuck. Barack Obama's a faggot. Okay, he blows. He sucks dick. He gets fucked in the ass. Dope fiend. He's a dope fiend. He smokes crack. He's a saint. He worships the devil. Okay, he, he's a he worships the devil. He's a satanist. He probably kills children. Drinks blood. I, I, that sounds crazy. I take it all away with it, man. Because it sounds crazy, but that's just true. Like you said, I don't like being conservative. You got to tell people how to...